understanding queries. So before we start and before we get into creating a query, I'm just going to explain to you and quickly show you how we create a query and then we'll start together and create one. So a select query is like a filter that you place on your data so that you see the information that is relevant to you. Select queries can be used, for example, to produce a list of customers from Tasmania or all the items that you've purchased in the last six months valued at $300 or more. So select queries are so named because they select records according to your query design. So when we create a query, we need to be on the, the create tab and the query design. So then we'll get a short table. So I'm just going to click on employees and add and close. So this section here, this is where we select our fields from a list. And this at the bottom is our query grid. So I'm just going to drag that up to show you. So if I want to bring down my M number, my last name, first name, department and phone number, that's all of the fields I've selected from the employees by double clicking on the field and putting them in the grid. So when we come to create our query, I'll do this a little bit slower and we'll go through it step by step. So the records displayed in the query are determined by the sample data that you enter in the criteria row. So this is your criteria row. So this is where you write your, que your query. So this is why the process is sometimes referred to as que query by example. So for example, if in my department, if I run my query, I can see everything that is um, extracted from the table. But if I just want to see administration, I'm going to type administration in the criteria section and then I'm going to run. So now it's only giving me administration. So that's my criteria that I've run. So the easiest way to see the data is to switch to the data sheet view as I've just shown you. So in the data sheet view, the data that matches the query criteria, for example, administration, is displayed in this is called a Dynaset table. So a Dynaset is a subset of the full table of data. However, it's still a live set of data. It may, any changes made here to the data will be reflected back in the full table later on, which is this one here. So if you're going to make changes here, they will reflect back in employees. Employees will reflect in, reflect in the query. OK, so I'm just going to close down this query without saving and we will work on creating our first query. So remember, queries are created from the Create tab. This one here. Like table structures, there's a design view where the layout criteria and the like require for the, um, t the entries which are specified. So it depends on what you want to select. All right. So what you're querying and a run view where the data is brought into the design layout structure from the relevant table. So the first step in creating a query, therefore, is to create a query design structure. So make sure where you have opened the file creating queries one. Then click on the create tab. And then go into query design. Once we get into query design, I'm just going to bring up my table. In our show table, we want to choose which table we want to extract the information from to build the query. So in this in this case, I'm going to add employees. Now you can do that a couple of ways. You can double click or you can highlight employees heading and click on add. So we've added the individual table to our query. Now I'm going to close. So I'm just going to bring my query grid using my black arrow and last line. I'm just going to bring it up. Can you see that you've got your double-headed arrow in the dash across the middle? I just drag that up just a little bit closer to each other. It's easier to see. So once you've done that, I'm going to click in the field listing and double click on M number. And it brings it down. Then I'm going to do last name, then first name, and then department. So you can see I've brought down last name first, then first name. I don't have to bring them down in order. So then I need to type my query. So what am I looking for? So if I'm looking for department administration, I need to type this in the criteria row. So the criteria row is where you will type and that's where you can find and filter from. So then I'm going to run my query. So I've just run my query. So it gives me administration. So I'm going to go back. So if I want to take out the information, all I do is highlight and delete. So I'm going to save this query. And the reason I'm going to save this query is I'm going to use this query multiple times. So to save the query, it's going to right click and save. 
and I'm going to give the query the name QRY and then employees and then enter and there's my query saved. So when I right click and close my query, I've got my query there for me to work back with. So what I've done is I've just saved my query and that is my main query that I'll work from each time. And that query is linked to the employees table.